Next up, Holt Arena is becoming the ICCU Arena? Yes. In the future, everything will be sponsored. Here's mm, here's yeah. something, and I'm just going to pose the question because I don't know. I have no agenda. Uh, but have you noticed the people buying sponsorship rights to all the venues are all credit unions? Yes, I have noticed The that. Mountain America Center, the Frontier Center for mm-hmm. the Performing Arts, the ICCU Arena. Where are they getting all that money? I know that I'm a member of a credit union, and like, isn't it? It's not like Winco employee owned or anything, but mm-hmm. it's it's sort of a collective, right? Not yeah. A, but do, yeah, do do credit unions have more money than banks, or what's going on there? I don't know. I almost like when I, when I see a business spending, and I don't. I'm not the comptroller. Uh huh. Right, right. <laughs> I just recently learned that term. I'm not the CFO, <laughs> but uh, when I see a business spending a lot of money, I think they don't need my money. Right. They've yeah. got everybody else's. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Is that a weird? Well, it makes you wonder how much of ever how much of everybody's money they're taking. I wouldn't necessarily hold it against them, but I would take note. And I don't know why it doesn't even really bug me. It's just an observation. There. I'm done. Okay, and somebody else. Oh, Heather Metama. Thank you so much, Heather, for this. She's my Facebook friend. And she, someone, okay, was bitching Metama, about. I don't even know Emma. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, her and her hubby, Max. Maxical mm-hmm. dude. She mentioned on a, a post, because we were bitching about the concrete dividers on hit. Right, and how frustrating those are. And on 17th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now you have to, if you need to get to a place, you have to do a (sighs) U-turn. Which always makes me feel like I'm wasting gas. Right. I mean, it's, yeah. I know it's sixes. It's only a few feet, but. Right, but it just feels like such a, like, I hate to backtrack. Yeah, but she made a really good point. She said, I'll I'll read the whole thing verbatim. We started using the Pulse Point app last fall to see what was (laughs) happening when emergency vehicles were driving near our home. Now we can't stop noticing that the many, many accidents that used to happen, especially at Hit and 17th, or on Hit between 17th and Sunnyside, are practically non-existent. Whoa, really? So I thought, okay, if it's for the greater good, I get it. Yeah, that's fair. So thanks for pointing that out, Heather. Now, mm-hmm. have you, do you have the Pulse Point app? I don't, but I totally should. Right. Like, if you're ever curious about what's them sirens for? Right, right. Or, or what did I just pass? Yeah. Uh, get the Pulse Point app. Now, here's what I don't get. IFFD, the Idaho Falls Fire Department, is on it, mm-hmm. but the IFPD is not on it? That's weird. At least right now. I wonder why. As far as I'm aware. I don't know, but you know, oftentimes they'll send a fire engine mm-hmm. to like a medical emergency yes. or yeah. So you can kind of like pull up your pulse point app, see what that thing was at the corner of whatever walk and don't walk mm-hmm. and sometimes get the information. Nice. It's, it's kind of a cool app. Yeah. That, that, that does sound cool. It's not like a police scanner. It's just mm-hmm. sort of a, it's almost like Twitter, <laughs> you know, where they just post the newest thing first. Mm-hmm. You know, it just makes me think of that one time when I was driving home from the station and there was this random car parked right in the middle of the lane that like wasn't moving, didn't have hazards on, wasn't doing anything. Oh, wow. And like I got right up behind it and slowed way down. And like I think I even stopped behind it for a second and it didn't do anything. And so I went around it and I called it in because it was dark out and I was afraid someone was going to hit him. It was a hazard. Yeah. But I was also like, what is this guy doing? Is he having a medical emergency or something? And I I hate stuff like that where I don't know what happened in the end. Yeah. You know? Because here I was very invested in this at one uh-huh. point, and now it's just a mystery forever. And, the world will never know. Right. And we'll you never can't like, know. like stuff like that, they wouldn't like put in the paper or anything. Right. So there's no way to know what happened. That's not newsworthy. Right. It's just a thing that happened. Yeah. I know the city of Idaho Falls is doing a big app <clears throat> push right now and I downloaded their app and I spent 30 seconds on it and then got distracted by a cat meme. Mm, um, sounds, sounds about right. Yeah. But I wonder if they could incorporate some sort of, not police scanner, but a uh, little blog saying. Yeah, like a Pulse Point S yeah. type thing in it. Here's the big loud sound you heard. Because right. you, you see people asking that question. Uh, you know, I live on the numbered streets. Does anybody hear a big boom? <laughs> right. Yeah, people totally do. <laughs> I always, you know, 
wonder what that's about. Well, at least it was a big boom, because if it was a big bang, then it was me and your mom. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Here's something I wanted to bring up on the very first snowfall of the season, and I didn't, dang it. But I'd like to bring it up now, Mm -hmm. because who knows, with with internet shows, like, who knows when you're going to be listening to this? You know, what keywords brought you here or whatever. But uh, somebody talked about how, hey, when you see teenagers spinning cookies in a parking lot, don't necessarily judge them Mm -hmm. because that's a great way to learn how to drive in the snow. It's true. And I do it every year. Inevitably, every year, I'll Mm -hmm. find myself driving home late at night, see an empty parking lot. It, you know, it has just snowed. Mm -hmm. I'll go into the parking lot. Uh, whether it's a school or church or sometimes even a you know strip mall, and just mm-hmm. accelerate and then break. Right. Do a little brake check all my own, and sort of remind myself how my car operates in the snow. Like you were, mm-hmm. we you were busting drifts and going. Oh yeah, that's because I drive a soup. <laughs> yeah. And I was kind of in the passenger seat going. I was doing an impression of my mother going. Oh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. But I mean, you've driven my car in the snow and even you've been like, man, the handling on this thing is great. I think it performs better than my car. I think so too. But it's a good, it's a good thing to learn how to maybe, um, you know, spinning cookies in the mall parking lot mm-hmm. isn't the best idea. Right. But if it teaches you how to handle your car, mm-hmm. you know, steer in the direction of the skid or, you know, brake and then let off and then brake again or whatever you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, have a little snow practice in the parking lot. Exactly. Yeah. My car has a uh, dynamic traction control thing that I can mm. actually take off. Oh, that's cool. And then it turns into supercar. <laughs> they can spin around and oh, do things a normal car can't <laughs> if there's snow on the ground. Okay, that sounds really fun, though. It's great. <laughs> I've actually never spun any cookies. Haven't you? In my life. Although I did get accused of it once in a weird way. Okay. So um, I was in high school. I was leaving this um, event with this guy that I was into, and we parked in a parking lot. It, now, neither of us had had our first kiss, so we weren't doing anything too okay. bad. But, you know, we wanted to canoodle a little. Sure. And um, at one point, we both got out of the car for some reason, and I closed my door, and I accidentally locked us out of the car. Oh, so we had to call his dad to like come get the car and like let us in, like unlock it for us. Oh. Yeah. And uh, his dad kind of took one look at us and was like, what were you guys doing in this parking lot anyway? Oh, were you guys going to spin cookies? And like, thank goodness. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude, let us like. Let your kid hang themselves on their own words sometimes, you know? Like, yeah. if you really want to know what they're doing, don't build in an excuse. But thank goodness he did, because there was... We were just so embarrassed already. You got us, sir. <laughs> yeah. Busted. Yeah. Yeah. But he kind of just chuckled and, like, gave a little finger wag and unlocked the car. Thank goodness. <laughs> but, yeah, it was not fun. And we were in the cold for, like, 20 minutes, and I felt like a fool. <laughs> this whole thing sounds like an ad for OnStar. <laughs> oh, it was... Well, yeah, if you can get into the car to turn it on. Or BMW Assist, or what's the Subaru one? <laughs> uh, S- Super Starlink. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I do love that my Subaru, you can't lock the keys in it. Like, it won't let you. Right. I think that's such a great feature. Yeah. <laughs> 